Well, everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Anna. Anna is getting ready to collect some samples in the cellar. And why? Well, today we are going to try and find out, as we've been talking about, what are the alcohols. So Anna has pulled off a little bit of the wine. She rinsed out the container because we don't want any contaminants. Now she's getting her full sample, but look at the froth in there. That wine is still working, right? We, we, you know, it's not quite finished yet. There's a lot of dissolved gas, and that's going to interfere with what we do. So we need to get that out, but more on that in a moment. So what is this lovely, shiny uh, contraption? No, it is not the hood ornament from a 57 Buick. It is actually an ebulliometer. Try to say that five times fast. It is an old device that we have used for decades. And basically what it does is it looks at the boiling point of water, which you're all saying, Dave, that's 100 degrees Celsius. Mm, kind of, but we'll get back to that. And it compares that to the boiling point of the wine. So here we have some water from Jet French. Oh, yeah, that's water. So uh, we close the valve. Don't want any of the liquid to get out. And we now pour the water into the ebulliometer. And let's see what that uh, water is going to boil at. Now, again, you said, Dave, it's 100 degrees. Well, it's around 100 degrees. Uh, the thing that we really have to look at is barometric pressure, the, you know, what the day is like. And that is going to determine what uh, the boiling point is. So what do we have there? A thermometer. Isn't that perfect? You know, it can tell us what the boiling point is going to be. We have an alcohol burner that slips underneath, and that starts to heat that dose of water that went inside. In the meantime, we're knocking the, the bubbles out of the wine. Remember I mentioned earlier? We've got to knock the bubbles out. So here we go, 99 degrees, 99.1, 99.2, 99.4. Dave, it's going to hit 100. Mm, tell you right now, it's not. Um, let's see where this rests out. It's very important. You think, well, what's the difference? You know, a few points of, uh, of you know degrees in terms of uh, temperature. Well, that ended up was 99.6. So you can see where uh, Anna. She's setting it at 99.6. That changes the whole scale. Well, now the wine with all the uh, bubbles beat out of it. We're now filling that up and putting it into the ebulliometer. We're now going to find what its boiling point is. Ah. But because it's more volatile than water, it could draw, you know, the, the vapors could drive off, so we have to put that cooling chamber on the side, which we do. So now the wine is coming up to its boiling point. It's rising, but uh, you see the shiny thing in the back? That's the, that cooling chamber. Any vapors are actually being condensed in there and dropping back in so that we don't uh, change the alcohol content inside. 92. Where is this thing going to go? 92. It's coming up to 92.1, maybe a bit more. And this is what we want to see. Probably 92.2, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, looking at this. And, uh, of course, we look at 92.2, we read it off, just under 10% alcohol. And that's how it's done.